center of this apple with magnets in it. It's supposed to be an apple compass. Now we'll see if it works. We'll try it with a few less magnets. <laughs> Maybe one less make because there's that little right. bit there. Alright. <laughs> this is a terrible apple. <laughs> it's a non-floating <laughs> apple, this one. It's too big. Oh, we're not going to have much of a magnet left. <laughs> Let's put the pointy end through it on the side. Oh, there we go. Get that apple on there. Ta-da! It works! Now will it go back to... It should point more that way, right? Or which way is north? Let me get the compass and see which way is north. It's over there. I think that's north. I don't want to get this compass it's anywhere near it's that thing. <laughs> it's, it's, a bit of it's pointing exactly north right now. Well, oh, hang on. It really is, see? Yeah, that's what I thought. It is. Well, turn it, turn it around the other way and see if it, it swings back. Yeah, it's swinging back. Look at that. Wow. Yay! <laughs> My take oh, cool. two. Survival tip number one. My take two. Croc and a magnet. Cro Cro that is definitely spinning Here it around. Goes again. Look at that. Now let's see if it'll go back a little bit. Yeah, it bumped into the thing. That's it why. certainly is. Wow, hey. High five. Our invention. All right, Alana, what do you have to tell us about your invention? Okay, well, it didn't work with the apple, but we put it in a crock to test it out, and it worked. Whoa! Oh, scared. <laughs> hey, you hold on. <laughs> I thought it was a snake. <laughs>